Living in fear of the far-right conservative tantrum is what far-right conservatives want. What I mean by this is you can't go about your life denying yourself the opportunity to be yourself because you're afraid someone is going to yell at you or shout at you or get violent over you just existing. This fear of being called out, clocked, and socially attacked for just saying hello or dressing how you like or being in a public space is what far-right conservatives and religious bigots want. They want to make you feel bad or scared for being yourself. This is how they chase you and others like you out of participating in society and public life. By all means, be cautious. Motivated and misguided people do exist, but don't let anyone blow up the perception that the majority of people or even a sizable amount of people are itching to find someone like you so they can go out of their way to make your life miserable. The truth of it is, the vast majority of people don't care that you're transgender, gay, or queer. It's not their life, and thus not their concern. If anything, the over-politicization of transgender and queer people has made the majority of people tired of hearing the negative rhetoric. Once again, still be careful and watch your back. Some people are a bit too far down the conspiracy that queer people are a threat and may be dangerous if provoked. However, you will be surprised how many people will treat you just like everyone else. Upon meeting you, most people will then have a face for all the negative commentary levied at queer people. You alone replace the entity with a person. That person is human, relatable, and someone most people can identify with. You're a human being too, and the people will see that. You will break most misconceptions and expose the lies the far-right bigots spread just by existing in someone else's proximity. The one thing to ultimately remember when you're going into, out into the world is to remember the primary fallacy of perception that far-right bigots rely chiefly on. And that is, if no one stands up to defend you when they get loud, that means no one is on your side. In truth, most people just want it to stop without having to make their leanings or feelings on the situation known. Once again, most people either don't care or don't know how to show their support, so they go silent. If anything, you'll have more people silently cheering you on to shut them down than you will have people siding with their bigotry. The average person's day-to-day -day life doesn't have any consideration for queer people, and I mean that in a good way. They don't see anyone queer as being anything different than just another person. So don't let it go to your head that the world is against you. That you're wrong for being you. You're not hurting anyone by being queer. You're just another person trying to live their life, and most people will see you that way. If anything, they will recognize just how hard the world is for you. The world at large is kinder than the loud few make it seem. And that was kind of the end of what I've written. But the reason for making this particular video, post, if you will, depending on where this goes, is that I've seen a lot of trans people, a lot of queer people, believe that they can't go out and live life because they're worried about people getting mad at them or thinking that they're going to be creepy or weird. But you've got to remember that these are lies that far-right conservatives, religious groups that are bigoted against queer people and trans people, and just anyone that isn't part of their cisgender straight norm, these are lies that they spread to make you feel like you don't belong. But the fact is, you do belong in society. And by showing up and just living your life, you're disproving everything that they're saying. So the ultimate thing is, is yeah, it takes courage. It, it takes courage and you do still need to be cautious because some people believe the lies, but it's not the majority and it's not the average. Most people will just see you as another human being, walking into a store, going to a restaurant, existing in public. And if anything, they're going to be curious about you and not hateful towards you. They may have a few offensive questions, but those are usually questions that are coming from a place of misunderstanding. Um, and that misunderstanding is, is that it's okay to ask you something, because as far as they're concerned, everything that they know about queer people might be from a far-right source. A far-right source that they don't necessarily believe in, but it's the only source of information they have. So they're going to come to you and ask you questions that will be bizarre, but it's not because they're trying to be rude, it's because they're trying to gain knowledge on something that they've heard or listened to, and they don't realize that what they're asking is something that you wouldn't ask a normal person. So, yes, it's okay to be offended if someone asks you what's in your pants. Yes, it's okay if someone asks you about your sex life to be like, I don't want to answer that. Those are okay things to sort of state, 
But at the same time, please understand that a lot of people are just uneducated and their only source of education might be a far right source, might be, unfortunately, Fox News. It might be some other big media outlet that doesn't like trans people and on the regular trans or queer people rather and on the regular spreads propaganda and misinformation and they can recognize that it's propaganda and misinformation but they can also not understand how deep that propaganda and misinformation goes so ultimately don't be afraid to go outside because most people are not with the far right they're going to be your average day-to-day -day person that honestly doesn't care they don't care if you're trans. They don't care what you've got going on. They don't care about what decisions that you've made because to them, those are personal choices. And you are the way that you are and they have no care to get involved in the rights activism part of it. They have no care to get into any aspect of, of queer culture because to them, it doesn't include them. And in some ways, that's a little bit wrong, but in other ways, it makes sense. They're not queer. Why would being queer matter? And these are people that generally don't believe either way. They're not for or against. They're just there to live their life and treat you like a human being. I've, I've discovered in my life going out and going places that the number of people who have said anything to me that was rude or mean have been one or two people out of an entire day of smiles, waves, good conversations. It's one or two people out of a vast sea of other people that either just didn't say anything or interacted positively. So ultimately, I guess what I'm saying is don't be afraid to go out. Don't be afraid to say hello to someone. Don't be afraid to give someone a compliment if you so feel like it, which is kind of what sparked this whole uh, video. Um, ultimately, you are just another person in the world and most people are going to see you that way. And if you're a kind, happy, and well-meaning person, most people aren't going to take you any other way than exactly as you present. It will literally take someone who has a vested interest in making your life miserable because of things that they personally believe, because they're listening to propaganda and actively trying to promote it for them to go out of their way to try and hurt you. And those people are few and far between. And I've had more people post shitty situation post getting misgendered, post getting dead named, post getting called out for being trans. I've had most more people come up to me and be like, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Then I've had people that have been siding with them. It's one person screaming into a void and everyone else just waiting until it's over to apologize and let you know that they were there the entire time. Yes, it doesn't help in the moment, but most people are not on the side of bigotry. And I would hazard to guess most people are like that. Most people just want to live their lives. So, do yourself a favor. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Don't be afraid to be a person. Don't be afraid to engage in social interactions and be in public. You have a right to be there. And anyone else that says otherwise, they can suck it. Bye.